On this episode of The Outdoorsman, we are bringing to you the first ever turkey hunt that we've ever released on our channel. And it's also another first because the young man who ends up harvesting the bird in this episode has never killed a long beer before. So it's a pretty special episode, guys. Stay tuned, and we hope you enjoy. Like I said in the intro, The Outdoorsman has never released a turkey hunting episode before. And it's not for lack of trying, because for the past six or seven years, I've been out there every spring chasing after these long beards. But when you throw somebody that likes to hunt with a bow and cameras in the mix, it makes turkey hunting very difficult. And it, I didn't end up killing my first spring long beard up until last year when I decided two things, to set down the bow and pick up the firearm, and then two, if you can't kill them on camera, so be it. Let's get one under your belt. So I did end up killing my first spring long beard last year, did it off camera. It was all over the outdoorsman Instagram. But once that happened, it sparked an obsession like no other because now I'm just as obsessed with chasing spring long beards as I am with chasing fall whitetails, without a doubt. It's crazy because it's two different times of the year. It just gets you a taste of two different styles of hunting and I love it. I made up with it. And Tyler and I wanted to make this spring huge. We wanted to get as many turkey kills on camera as we possibly could because in the state of Kentucky, you get two male turkey tags under your belt every spring. And I'm like, dude, we got to fill both these tags each. And if, if anyone else wants to film, wants us to try and get behind the camera and film, we got to do it. We got to get as many kills as we can. So the first opportunity we would have at that would be Youth Weekend here in the state of Kentucky. And that's the first Saturday and Sunday of April. And this year it fell under April 4th and April 5th. And I happened to be off April 5th. So I shot Mike a text who's the owner of Cattle Ridge. And he's also the father of Sagan, who I don't know if you guys remember. He was in front of the camera a couple years ago. He killed a deer for the first time ever with a crossbow. Episode was awesome. I love filming that father-son interaction because that's what it's all about. But anyway, I shot Mike a text and I said, hey, if you're free, I'm off Sunday. We got pretty good weather. Let's meet up. Let's get in that ground line out of Cattle Ridge and let's see if we can get it done. And he was pumped. He said, let's do it. So on April 5th, I met up with Sagan and his father out of Cattle Ridge to see if we could get it done.
can't stop the fog, bro. Yes! You did it, buddy. Congratulations, son. <laughs> Way to go, brother. Dude, you Man. smoked him. I'm like, I'm gonna try to get one gobble. I'm calling, I'm calling, he's one gobble. Oh, that was smoking him. Dude, that was awesome. Oh my god, dude. Put that hey, safety. Yeah, put that safety on, brother. It is on high. Good job, son. <laughs> that was cool. That is cool. That was cool as all did, up, bro. Watch it. Stay. Yeah, I gotta fix those sticks. Here, can you hand me my Of course, man. <laughs> this is awesome. Congratulations, Sagan. Uh, here, hold it. Hold it. You got, you got it. Hold it. Good job, boy. That is a beard of all beards, buddy. We're gonna have to get some serious pictures of that. <laughs> Thank you, man. Dude, that's awesome. That, <laughs> that is freaking awesome. <laughs> that's uh that's sweet with everything going on in the world man it's so nice to get out here second day of the youth season and young man oh, got it was... done hold him up open him up well what do you think dude april 5th second day of youth season I think it's the fifth, yeah. yeah. Second day for sure. Sagan's been hunting hard and patience and perseverance and it's paid off. Pick him up, he's pretty heavy. Dude, that's that's solid. Yeah. It's a heavy bird. it's been uh, it's been a few years since you, since I've killed one in front of you, isn't it? Yeah, it's been, it's been like six years. Yeah, we've, we've been busy working and... Man, I don't think we could have... I mean, we literally, with the rain this morning, it was just like perfect weather. Perfect situation. We knew there was going to be birds that would show up in this field with the rain. Oh, yeah. like Dry as feathers. I'm surprised we didn't see more, but we knew one at least would they show were, up. They and were sure all around enough, us. They just didn't yeah. want to come out. It was this just, one here was earlier. That could have been too much further. And then big trees there. And then I guess... It could have. It could have been that one all along, and it went down there and just followed uh, all the way around. I don't think, yeah, I don't know. Because that, I think that one down. I there mean, we had them gobbling there, there, all the way over there. Then we heard one way down there. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs>